I didn't even know that um, women have the same right as the men. I didn't know that I can be a top athlete having the same opportunities as, as the men and that's what Vancouver has given me. It gave me the confidence to believe that I can be uh, not the same as the men but even better. My name is Farinaz Lari and I'm from Iran. I'm a trainer but I'm a professional kickboxer as well. Growing up in Iran I never got to experience anything else and I thought that's as perfect as it can get. When I moved here is when I realized that life is way better than I thought. I won the World Championships September 2013. After winning, I got to sit down with the head of the Federation of Iran and head of the Federation of Canada and they offered me a position in the team and then the head of the Federation of Iran acted like they are very happy with it and they think it's a great opportunity for me because I live in Canada and I have no attachments to Iran anymore. The next uh, World Championships came along and I sent my information in and they bought the tickets, everything was done and then I got served with a letter saying that because I'm signing up for a different team without letter of consent from my birth country, I am suspended for two years. During the suspension, the first thing that came to my head was if I was a man, this would have not happened. And it's true because men have changed teams when they immigrated to other countries and there's never been a problem. And then after the two year suspension was over, they came up with another excuse and they suspended me for another two years. So I always, always in my head said, why me? But that didn't stop me from trying. That didn't stop me from training every day. That didn't stop me from pushing it every day. It, it made me stronger, it made me angrier. I just wanted to prove that I can be better. These are not my, all my only good days. I'm gonna have better days. I'm gonna come back even better. Uh, honestly, the first time I got back in the ring after being suspended for so long, I was kind of frozen. So I didn't do really well. I got a draw. At first, I thought, oh, my fire is gone. It, it almost felt like I put all this energy in training and now it's all gone. Once I stepped down, I said to myself, I'm not going to feel bad for myself. This is normal. I have to make this happen. I have to get that fire again. So I was planning to go to Thailand. So I went to Thailand and I fought again after two weeks and I won by knockout. And that's when I felt, oh, my body was shaking. I felt this fire inside and, and it was back. And I took that moment and I proceeded with that and that's what I'm going with. The only thing I would change is believing in myself. I think because of the shortcomings of where I come from and how the women were treated, it took me a long time to understand my value, uh, to appreciate what I have accomplished and what I can do, not just for me and for other women. The biggest advice I would give people is don't listen to anybody else around you. If you believe something in your heart, then you can achieve it. Don't ever let anybody bring you down. Just because they can't do it doesn't mean that you can.